one part roller coaster tycoon and throw in a generous helping of mini games plus a splash of robot love. <laughs> Error. You'll end up with something like Thrillville off the rails. Like the original Thrillville, this sequel is not a hardcore sim game, but for the casual gamer, there's a whole lot of fun to be had, especially if you're into robots. You are the manager of an amusement park, which requires you to hire staff, create marketing, and mingle with the little people. You're a jerk. And forget reading boring charts and graphs. You'll discover what your park is lacking based on the comments of passers-by. I like the gentle rides. They're safe and fun. It's important to schmooze with the patrons and try to keep the critics happy. In fact, you might have to engage in some unsavory business practices to get a good review. And the nightmare with bad publicity is over. Such is the seedy underbelly of managing a family theme park. Which brings us to the robots running amok in your park. They're making folks nervous, and it's your job to get rid of them. You're a human, they're robots. But if you can find love in this crazy, mixed-up amusement park, anything can happen. It can't What's hurt that? to try. Unit not programmed for love, only crushing and mayhem. Or maybe it can. Of course, it's not all hobnobbing with robots. You've got rides to design. You can buy pre-made coasters, but it's more fun to design your own. Just make sure you know what you're doing. Otherwise, it can be bad for business. <laughs> And even if you're short on restrooms, it's hard not to find a good minigame in Thrillville. Whether you're into racing, shooting, or just cleaning up vomit, you've got it. At the end of the day, it's a surprisingly fun family game. Thrillville off the rails woos four robots out of five. I'm going to beat you like a dusty carpet sucker.